hey what's good everybody i am here inside fort amsterdam i came with another youtuber from the u.s he came here to cover some of the beautiful uh history that happened here you know during those days i am doing well you know trying to project more of festivals here in my region central region aside everything that you need to see <laughs> Let me take you out of this fort called Fort Amsterdam in Abanzi and then show you the beautiful sea right over there. Yeah, so this is Abanzi, beautiful community, a fishing community here in the central region of Ghana. And look at the kids. This is the vibration we've all been trying to get. If I'm supposed to be staying here, I will never be bothered with life. <laughs> I'm trying to get ready to go fishing. I wish one day I'll go with them. I call Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. Hey, so let me tell you something. This fort is called Fort Amsterdam. Now, let me tell you something. I know and I've read that most of the castles that we have here in the central region also have these forts that they built not by the beach side, but they built it on top of a hill. Why? Because it served as a place for the soldiers to hang out, to be on watch over the castles. So if there is any threat coming from the sea, or from the land they are the first people to know and they will alert who those in the castle that hey we have people coming in so we need to be careful so basically some of these forts serve the purpose of what i just told you and it is good that uh, as we all grow up we get to learn that okay there are certain things that happen and then we are now getting to know and that should be a platform for us to to write off the wrongs and then live among us. I mean, nobody want to hear the history of slavery because the black man who hears it will hate the white person. And the white person who listens to the story will say, we did nothing wrong. So hey, it is good that we learn. And it's about time that, yes, I know it is difficult, but we have to forgo a lot of the wrongdoings. A lot of the events that happened to our forefathers. Yes, somebody will say, because you're in Ghana, you're in Africa, born and bred there, so you don't know what we went through or what we are going through. But the hate and then the dislike and then the fight will still continue if we don't change our mindset. Honestly, Abanza is a beautiful place. I don't know, the breeze alone, maybe we get in, I know late September, early October is another kind of rainy season. But this year, 
um, late August, it's been raining. It's been raining in Cape Coast. I don't know whether it's been raining in Accra, but it's been raining in Cape Coast. It's the whole city of Abanze. It stretches all the way to the last building over there. Yes, and I'm entreating all of you that when you're coming to Ghana and then you make up your mind to come to Cape Coast, on your way to Cape Coast, that is where you find Abanzi and this is where the Fort Amsterdam is. So make it a point, add it to your bucket list, add it to your travel list, your itinerary that you would have to come here and learn a thing or two. So finally, I'm done with this video. Came here, took a trip with a friend, a YouTuber from the US. So I have seen enough, I have made enough. This is what I want you to also experience. Nothing wrong with it. Just take a trip to Ghana when you're coming to Cape Coast Castles. Make sure you stop by Abanzi and patronize Fort Amsterdam. <laughs> Beautiful place right here in Abanzi. So I descended from all the way from the top there. Yes, from there. That is where I was making the video. And I'm now down just on the shore. Yes, and look at that. So beautiful.